These are amazing times. Convergence of breakthroughs in computing, storage, power, material science, artificial intelligence, and nano and biotechnology are stimulating unprecedented opportunities and threats. This presents new challenges and the need for paradigm shifts as accelerating technological development alters nearly everything, even, some say, the way our brains are wired. The human connections we are building and the information we are databasing on the Internet are creating a shared global intellect that is growing and evolving every day, and we have not even yet begun to climb to the steep part of the expected exponential change curve. At the Imagining the Internet Center at Elon University, we're gathering people's visions of the future in order to inform policy and help identify issues. Thousands of experts and people in the general public have shared their views of the future with us. While some are wary, most see technological change as positive. For instance, individuals have predicted our cars will be able to call repair centers, get instructions, and repair themselves. Avatars will do our shopping for us. Virtual reality will be so much better than real life that some people will choose to live there instead. And even the trees will whisper in networks of information. We often work with the Pew Internet Project on research in which technology experts share their views on the evolution of the Internet. In our latest survey, 81% said the Internet is enhancing human intelligence. 72% said by 2020, most people will use mobile devices instead of desktop computers to access information. 85% said social relationships online will continue to grow in value. And 71% said online cooperation will result in more efficient, responsive government and businesses. The future of the Internet is the future of knowledge of economics, politics, and society. Really, everything can be defined as being information, including our own genetic code and the molecular recipe for all of the things on the planet. We are information, and we are becoming one with the Internet in many ways. The future of the Internet can be described with four Ps, pervasive, portable, personal, and precarious. With the World Wide Web, broadband, and 4G mobile connectivity to smart devices, we are entering the earliest phase of a new era, living in an information ocean that flows all around us. Let's look at what we know. First, the future of the Internet, of information, is pervasive. The World Wide Web was born only a short time ago, in 1993. It now has more than 70 billion indexed sites and more than 1 trillion unique addresses. It is a new tool that has inspired a million or more applications with more to come. Already today, we are using search engines, social networks, shared databases, wikis, blogs and microblogs, digital games, geolocation, virtual reality, and augmented reality to share and gain knowledge. We want to use these tools and access information no matter where we are. Internet-based information is pervasive, available everywhere. Material science and the shrinking size and cost of energy sources, storage, and computing are making the common adoption of seemingly futuristic devices possible now in rich and poor regions. We can build access to the Internet and massive interactive displays into our architecture, our surroundings, entire walls, windows, and even our clothing. And we can make devices with amazing computing power and Wi-Fi access that are small enough to tuck away unnoticed in a pocket. We are learning to visualize data in new ways, as the work of Hans Rosling has shown. In addition, telepresence with life-size live video and audio is becoming more effective and more affordable, and it will transform business and education by 2020. Other breakthroughs include inexpensive miniature projectors that can present massive images, voice command digital devices, 3D and holographic displays, and remote and wireless health monitoring. The second developing characteristic in the near future is portable. We are connected to the world's knowledge through smartphones and tablet computers, and that trend will extend. Location-aware smart devices and their specialized applications allow us to augment reality with information overlays and enhance our ability to gain valuable data specific to our surroundings. New software applications are being innovated all the time to take advantage of mobile access to database intelligence. Purchasing power is portable. Soon, all items everywhere will have an Internet address and be networked in what is called the Internet of Things. Researchers are now investigating the next long-term possibility, human augmentation 
with neural implants, allowing us to have a direct brain-to-internet interface. Everything revolves around human adoption, people's uptake of new technology. So the personal is the third key point of near-future development. About two billion people are using the internet, with the next billion to be connected in the coming decade. Humans are social creatures and they are hunters and gatherers of information. This is hardwired into us and we will continue to push technology to serve our goals. The figures in the U.S. alone over the past decade show significant gains in multiple uses of the Internet, and this trend has been replicated in other developed nations. We are building deeper personal connections and sharing information on the participatory web at a staggeringly high rate through the use of tools such as Twitter, YouTube, Wikipedia, Facebook, and other online databases. Crowdsourcing of information, people combining their knowledge, their collective intelligence, to gain insights is also going to be increasingly vital. Also, people are shifting to the use of individually chosen web-based mobile applications that allow them to live a personalized, always-on or hyper-connected life where the lines between home life and work life blur and they move in an ambient stream of family and social life and work life. The move to pervasive, portable, personal computing is dependent upon the use of remote servers or cloud computing. You access software and store your information on databases not located at your home or business, but rather databases owned by others and accessed through the Internet. Individual empowerment through information and education can now be delivered in many forms. New online worlds and other interactive tools utilizing virtual reality and gamification are expected to thrive by 2020. As developers and designers find ways to implement these, more people will be utilizing mixed reality and virtual reality worlds where they can connect, share, and learn without many of the limitations found in the real world. With the positives come negatives. The Internet is turning our concepts of work-life balance, property, privacy, and identity upside down. New tools amplify people's existing tendencies, both good and bad. The final point to note is that the future is precarious. The Internet of Things is being built. Geolocation capabilities are being embedded in every item in the world, and these are becoming part of the overall global intelligence. Everything can be described as data, and data can be mapped, tagged, and tracked. Everything is information. Everything is becoming linked data. How will the concepts of property, privacy, and identity evolve in this environment? How are our brains changing as we converge with information in cyberspace? How are human institutions responding to new opportunities and threats? How is the definition of reality changing and how do we tell fact from fiction in an environment that encourages mixed reality? Will regulation or the formal and informal application of technology bottlenecks in our information architecture or in devices such as the iPad or Android phone interfere with innovation and the progress we expect is yet to come? And what about the far out future? Today we can fit nearly 50 million transistors in a package as small as a coin. Intel, the innovator of this processor, called Atom, also has scientists working on the idea of CADMs. Nano-sized robots each 40,000 times or more smaller than the width of an average human hair. They say the CADMs could be programmed to work together to take the shape of anything and perform any task. Open your mind to the possibilities this raises. If we can build and program intelligence at this nano level, we can extend it to say that it is within the realm of possibility that we're surrounded by invisible, intelligent life from another civilization right now. If we can do it, so could they. Technology is becoming more personal, portable, and pervasive. We are on the verge of even more immersive information environments as nanotechnology bioinformatics and our communications networks evolve together. We have to be sharp to stay on top of everything. Accelerating change requires our vigilant attention to the details of connection so we continue to evolve positively in precarious times. Be wise and bold. Monitor and anticipate. Apply a future's focus as you make the decisions today that influence all of our tomorrows.